right, what's up guys? I'm gonna be talking today about something that is really um, hard uh, for men, uh, especially men in these situations, um, but just in general, right? And that is that, you know, being married, being in your relationship with your wife, um, one of the things that she's probably said to you is that you don't do what you say you're going to do. And most guys, like we just, it's like we have this filter in our heads that like automatically ignores like almost everything our wives say. And then suddenly the day she comes to you and says, I want a divorce, or you find out she's cheating on you, or you find out whatever, that she doesn't love you anymore, all those things, suddenly you're awakened to this reality of, oh shit, like my life is not what I thought it was, and uh, my marriage is not what I thought it was, and I, I don't know what to do. And so you find a group, you find other men, you start talking to them, you're like, man, she's done this, she's cheated on me, she's doing all these things, and you're, and you're essentially blaming her for a lot of this stuff. You know, the, the idea is that we need to watch our language. And that is because if we are talking about our wives or our ex-wives or our girlfriends or whatever in such a way that is not helping, meaning we get negative about these things, we tend to have uh, emotions physiologically, uh, spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever, that are not lining up with who we say we want to become. So perfect example of this is what I call honoring commitments. So I don't know about you guys, but in, in, in having a wife, one of the biggest things is, is they want to believe that what you say you're going to do is actually true and that you're actually going to do what you say you're going to do. Why is that important? I mean, like, like think about it for a second. Why is it important to actually do what you say you're going to do? It's trust, right? It's absolutely, it's trust. And what women crave in a relationship with a man is trust. Why? Because if you can't trust him, you can't open your heart to him. And so the more you dishonor your commitments, the less you're actually going to build trust with her. Like you're going to crush the trust that you had. See, when a, when a woman marries you on her wedding day, she's trusting you, she's respecting you, she's honoring you, she's putting all these things out there and she's like, okay, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give love a chance, I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm gonna see how it goes, and I'm hoping, I'm believing that this guy is gonna be the guy for me, and he's gonna treat me right, because based on our dating history, based on what we've been through, I can trust him. But then over time, she loses that. She loses the respect, she loses the trust, she loses all those things. Now, again, I understand that a woman plays her part in everything, and I'm not here, to, this is not white knight shit, I'm not here to tell you you gotta be a better man and all this stuff. What, what I'm gonna say though is, is that you have to be a better man for you, not for her. Um, and, and so honoring commitments is a big part of that. Um, you know, I'm, we're coaching guys all, all the time. We've got guys that are hopping on calls with us to talk about our program. And it's amazing to me, number one, how many times somebody will book a call to talk to us and not actually fill out an application. So meaning like they're interested, but they're not actually willing to commit. Uh, so they'll, 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 they'll do the easy part, but then when it comes to answering 15 or 20 questions about what's happening in your marriage, they just totally like not answer the questions. Or when they fill out the application, it's like one word answers. So I automatically cancel those applications because what it tells me is, look, you're not investing enough time. You're not willing to commit to the process. Why should I waste my time hopping on a phone call with you? And so if you've seen that, if that's happened to you because we say, hey, you're not a fit right now, many times that's the reason why is because when I read the applications, I see this guy is not actually like committed to the process. The second reason, uh, the second thing that happens a lot is that we get guys that will fill out the application and they'll do the booking, the call, but then they don't actually show up for the call. Now, like think about that for a second. You told me you, you wanted to book time with me and talk with me or Andrew or whoever, and you filled out an application, you spent that time, but then you don't, you're not actually around when we call you? Like that makes no sense whatsoever. The reason that happens though is because you've built up a pattern in your character that says it's okay for me to break commitments. It's okay for me to say I'm gonna do something, but then do something else. Guys, this should not be. But it's no wonder your wife is wondering, well, can I trust him? Can I trust the change he's going to make? Guys, I read apps all the time. I talk to guys all the time. They're crying to me. They're, they're talking about how bad it is and how their wife doesn't love them anymore and all these things, all this pain and hurt. 
and you feel like a little boy inside. But you have got to look at you and say, I own this. I'm going to own my shit. And I'm going to come to the realization that, man, I have got to honor my commitments. I don't care if that's a commitment to to showing up at work every day. I don't care if it's a commitment to to talking to your wife every day or texting her every day. But what I do care about is that it's that if you make a commitment, that you honor your commitments. This ain't about me. Yeah, I get irritated when people don't show up for our calls and, and they don't fill out applications and don't do those things. But really, at the end of the day, it's about you. And here's the, here's the difference, because the guys that I do take on, man, not only do they show up for our one-on-one sessions, but they do the work. They do the homework. They do the assignments. I go in to coach accountable, and I'm like, Brr, you can see all the stuff they've done because they are showing up every single day, honoring the commitment to the process they made. And they've invested in themselves financially, emotionally, with their time, spiritually, all those things. And guess what? They're reaping the benefits that you're not. So when you're not honoring your commitments, you're not able to reap the benefit because you didn't honor it in the first place. It's like this. Look, I've been a business owner for several years. And I remember um, 10, 15 years ago, thinking about, gosh, it would be great to make $100,000 a year. Man, it'd be so awesome. And I'd look around at people driving you know, BMWs and all these cars and thinking to myself, man, those guys have it made. They're lucky. They're they're just doing well for themselves. And gosh, why can't I be like that? The fact is that those guys were willing to commit to the process to become the version of themselves that made themselves eligible to receive $100,000 a year in income. Why? Because they chose to solve big, hairy ass problems that automatically gave them benefits, byproduct, wealth, money, whatever, prestige, all those things of being in that relationship with money, right? And so when it comes to you, when it comes to what you're doing in your personal relationship, if you are choosing not to actually show up and honor those commitments, how dare you go and expect your wife to come back to you, expect your wife to stop having an affair if you're not willing to honor the commitment, to honor the process of what is actually going on. Because if you ain't working on you and she ain't working on her, There is no hope for the marriage. And regardless, even if she's working on her, or even if she's not working on her, you still own you. You can still work on you. Guys, you have a choice. I got, I woke up today to some crazy messages from my ex-wife. And it was like nuts. And I had a choice to make because the feeling, the emotion that wells up from some of those things are, oh my gosh, I'm offended. I want to respond, but I'm committed to the process. And my process says, hey, I've got boundaries. I've got ways that I relate to the world, to to her now as she is. And some of my coaching clients know this about a particular exercise we take you through that helps you separate who she was to who she currently is. That's a huge one right there, right? Because I don't look at my wife the same way as she was before. And and, and you, you start to lock into that process because you've committed to the process. You've leaned into the process. This is not easy. Like a lot of times guys will come in going, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm crying. And they're like wounded animals. They're like little children, but they refuse to grow up. They refuse to own their own shit. Guys, if you don't honor your commitments, you are refusing to own your own shit. If you say, hey, I'm going to be here at a certain time, be there at a certain time. If you say, hey, wife, I'm going to do this thing that I said I was going to do, do the thing you said you were going to do. There is nothing that pisses off a woman more than a man who she can't trust with what he says he's going to do. So that's it. If you got any questions about that, hit me up. But like, that's my encouragement for you guys today. I'm just seeing too much of that, of men who want to fix their marriage, who want to be better and want to be coached, but they're not showing up. They're not showing up for calls. They're not showing up in the group. They're not showing up for other people. They're not showing up for their children. They're not showing up for their wives. So no wonder your wife went out and found somebody else. No wonder your wife went and did the things she did. Look, I can't control it. You know, uh, my wife made the decisions she made, but I definitely have to own my side of it. I have to own what I allowed to happen. I'm not saying it's your fault, bro. I'm not saying you're the one that caused it because you didn't. But where are you not showing up? 